I never saw any comet doing this. I have seen comets sending stuff in the back and I have seen the tail. I can see the sublimation. I can see, I can see the sublimation. I can see dust tail growing. I can see like how the solar system comets behave. But I never saw a comet spinning this way with all the gas, dust, everything around. Just days ago, in an interview, Avi Loeb raised a possibility. 3i Atlas might release mini probes as it approaches Earth if it isn't a natural object. We'll get closest to Earth on December 19th, about a week before the holidays, and let's just hope that it will not send any unwanted gifts to Earth. And, and so when you talk about unwanted gifts, what you're basically describing is a, like a mothership with probes, potentially. What would, some, what would some other civilization want here on Earth or with us Earthlings? <laughs> Well, it's hard to, to tell, right? Because it's a blind date of interstellar proportions. Then, earlier than anyone expected, an amateur astronomer captures a new image of 3i Atlas. Right in the center is the bright, concentrated core of the interstellar visitor, sharp and intense against the darkness. But what's drawing the most attention are the five luminous points surrounding it, arranged with a symmetry that isn't typically seen in casual astrophotography. Astronomers note that several mechanisms could create such a pattern. Diffraction through the optical train, structured reflections inside the imaging sensor, or background stars distorted by the comet's extreme brightness. Yet the geometry is intriguing. Each of those explanations would normally produce a specific, recognizable signature, and the layout in this image doesn't fit any single one cleanly. Instead, it suggests a more complicated interaction between the optical system and the sharply saturated core of 3i Atlas, one that may require deeper analysis to understand. And now, the timing has become impossible to ignore. NASA has announced a major event just a few hours from now, during which it will release official images of 3i Atlas, taken from spacecraft and telescopes across the solar system. Saying, well, this actually could be what NASA thinks it is, and that's why this is so exciting, and that's why uh, we want to have this press conference to share it with the world, to share it with you. And also, we are ultra-transparent. Right, if, if we had this exciting news about the peer reviewers and what we think we found at NASA and I didn't bring it to you, if we didn't have everyone here together, uh, you might go, you're trying to hide stuff from us. Why didn't you tell us that a year ago? Uh, so we are here to say this is exciting uh, and we want to share that news with, uh, again, we are now just moments away from seeing calibrated, mission-grade data, images that may confirm, challenge, or entirely reframe what the amateur capture revealed. Independent astronomers are reporting odd structures in their own frames. NASA is preparing to release its first authoritative look at the object, and Loeb has continued warning about the potential for unexpected behavior, including mini-probes and Trojan horse scenarios. The overlap between these developments is raising questions across the scientific community. So the question stands, is this simply coincidence, an unusual image appearing right before NASA's scheduled reveal? Or are we watching the early signs of the black swan event Loeb described? And if there is even a fragment of truth to that possibility, what would it mean for us? And are we remotely ready for the implications? The new image has now become the center of discussion. At first glance, it appears simple, a bright, overexposed core surrounded by darkness. But as observers leaned in, frame by frame, something unexpected came into focus. Five small luminous points arranged around the comet's center. Their spacing, their alignment, and their relative brightness created a pattern that didn't resemble typical noise. Many viewers described a visceral reaction to the symmetry, a sense that the image contained structure rather than randomness. 
even experienced astrophotographers, who routinely deal with the quirks of optics and sensors, admitted the configuration looked unusually deliberate. Of course, the possibilities began with mundane explanations. Optical systems can generate reflections when a bright source overwhelms the sensor. Diffraction can produce faint points of light at consistent intervals depending on the telescope's design. Internal reflections inside lenses and imaging trains sometimes mimic additional stars. And the night sky is full of background objects distant suns that, when smeared by light from a nearby bright source, can take on strange shapes. Every one of those explanations is plausible, yet none of them match the pattern cleanly. Each artifact type has a signature, something predictable and repeatable, a shape, an angle, a color shift, or a direction that clearly identifies its origin. But the five-point pattern around 3i Atlas doesn't fall neatly into any known artifact category. That ambiguity is what has people talking. It is not that the image proves anything far from it, but it sits at the intersection of coincidence and curiosity, arriving just days after Loeb's interview and mere hours before NASA's scheduled release. The symmetry itself adds weight. If the lights were scattered without order, the discussion would have ended quickly. Instead, they appear arranged around the central object in a way that feels too geometric to dismiss outright. Whether that impression comes from the human mind searching for patterns or from something genuinely unusual in the frame is still unknown. But without additional data, the speculation continues to build. And that brings the discussion back to Loeb's broader concerns. Over the past several years, he's cataloged a series of anomalies seen in interstellar objects, beginning with Oumuamua in 2017. In that case, astronomers noticed an unusual acceleration that could not be explained by outgassing. There was no visible tail, no volatile emissions, and no thermal signature that matched the motion. Its shape was also puzzling, tumbling in a way that resisted simple models with a reflectivity inconsistent with typical cometary surfaces. Later, 2i Boris offered its own surprises, including chemical ratios unfamiliar in solar system comets. And as more interstellar objects are detected, the list has grown. Loeb has repeatedly emphasized that most of these anomalies can be explained naturally, but when you collect them together, odd accelerations, non-gravitational impulses, unexpected reflectivity, missing cometary signatures, and unusual shapes, a pattern begins to emerge. None of these factors individually point to technology, but the clustering suggests that interstellar objects may include a wider variety of material than we typically expect. And if even one such object displayed behavior inconsistent with natural physics, it would warrant serious investigation. His criteria are straightforward. If an object produces a maneuver inconsistent with natural behavior, or if smaller bodies accompany it in a coordinated pattern, those would be technological signatures. It is this framework that has made the new image of 3i Atlas so compelling to many observers, not because it confirms the theory, but because it visually resonates with a scenario he described before the image appeared. The timing of the five-light image and the circulation of Loeb's statements is what pushed the conversation into wider public view. In any other moment, the pattern would likely be attributed to sensor artifacts and forgotten within days. But appearing immediately after Loeb's warnings and just before NASA steps in with official data has created an atmosphere of heightened anticipation. The question is no longer just about what the lights are, but about whether they align with a broader set of anomalies noted in other interesting stellar visitors. Now attention turns to what NASA is preparing to release. The agency confirmed that tomorrow it will publish new images of 3i Atlas gathered from spacecraft and telescopes across multiple vantage points. These will be the first professionally calibrated images made available to the public, and the timing of the release has only amplified speculation. NASA reiterated that 3i Atlas is an interstellar object and poses no threat to Earth, emphasizing that it is being tracked carefully by several assets, but this statement has not stopped curiosity about what the images may reveal. The fact that NASA scheduled a formal presentation rather than a quiet data upload has also attracted attention. The event is being framed as a coordinated reveal, not just a routine release. For some, this suggests the agency anticipates significant public interest. For others, it raises questions about whether NASA has seen something worth contextualizing. The truth is likely simpler. Given the surge of public discussion, NASA may simply want to provide clear, centralized communication. But but in a moment as charged as this one, even practical decisions take on symbolic weight. 
Many people have asked whether Mars orbiters will provide the most revealing images. The reality, however, is that orbiters around Mars are not optimized for imaging comets or interstellar objects. Instruments like HiRISE aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter were designed to photograph the surface of Mars in incredible detail, not faint, distant objects passing through space. They operate with extremely short exposure times, often just a few milliseconds, which are far too brief to capture the delicate structure of a comet's coma or tail. These orbiters also use push-broom scanning technology. Instead of taking a full-frame image the way a traditional camera does, they capture long strips of data, line by line, as the spacecraft moves over the Martian surface. This method is ideal for building high-resolution terrain maps, but ill-suited for imaging a fast-moving distant object in the sky. If a comet is bright enough, the result may be a tiny, saturated point of light. If it is not, it may not appear clearly at all. That means any image of 3I Atlas captured by Mars orbiters will likely show little more than a dot with a faint halo, no structure, no tail, no detail, and certainly no small surrounding objects. Importantly, this also means that Mars orbiters cannot confirm or refute the five-light pattern seen in the amateur capture. Their resolution and imaging style do not allow for such analysis. The burden, therefore, shifts to other instruments. NASA's most informative images will likely come from ground-based observatories equipped with large apertures and adaptive optics. These telescopes can capture detailed coma structure, measure tail geometry, and sometimes detect subtle jets emanating from the nucleus. Space-based telescopes like Hubble, and possibly JWST if a window is allocated, provide even more stable, high-contrast views, free of atmospheric distortion. These instruments cannot approach the comet closely, but they can produce detailed profiles that reveal its behavior over time. Even with these powerful tools, there are limits. None of NASA's assets are designed to intercept or approach the comet directly. There will be no close-up images of the nucleus, no high-resolution view of surface features, and no detection of meter-scale objects unless they are incredibly bright or incredibly close to the nucleus. The telescopes will give us structure, composition clues, light curves, and motion, but not definitive evidence of small companions unless they are unusually reflective or unusually close to the nucleus. All of this brings the narrative to a point of sharp tension. Loeb raises the probe scenario, an amateur image appears showing a pattern that resembles coordinated points of light, and NASA prepares an official reveal in the same narrow window of time. Whether these events are connected or simply a coincidence is still unknown, but the alignment of timing, imagery, and public discussion has created an atmosphere unlike anything seen in recent interstellar studies. The public now waits with two competing expectations. One group anticipates that NASA's images will show a familiar cometary structure an ordinary interstellar object behaving according to known physics with the amateur image explained by optical effects. Another group suspects that something in the data may stand out, that the upcoming images might reveal asymmetries or brightness variations that fuel further questioning. These expectations are not equal in probability, but they coexist in the same moment, shaping the atmosphere around the reveal. And then there is the possibility, however remote, that the event could hint at the black swan scenario Loeb outlined. If the object demonstrates behavior inconsistent with natural dynamics, or if additional luminous bodies appear near it in multiple frames, that would raise questions far beyond this single comet. The implications would reach into science, government policy, defense, economics, and philosophy. It would challenge assumptions about our place in the universe and our understanding of what travels through it. For now, no definitive conclusion can be drawn. What we have is an interview, an image, and an impending release of official observations, all arriving in close succession. That alone is enough to generate global attention. And in just hours, when NASA publishes its first set of images, the foundations of the discussion will shift from speculation to evidence. Until then, the world waits. The atmosphere feels balanced on the edge of discovery or dismissal. In a short time, we will know whether the five lights were a trick of optics, an artifact of imaging, or the first clue in a much larger story. And whatever the truth turns out to be, tomorrow will change the conversation, perhaps profoundly.